Stuart Sink in his match with uh, Thomas Bjorn. They've halved the first three holes, and that was his second to the fourth. Thomas Bjorn had to halve the hole on four. Man who's 35th in the world at the moment, playing Stuart Sink, 59th in the world. And it could be a pretty good uh, battle. Thomas didn't play too well yesterday morning, but he looks in fine fettle this morning. Thomas Bjorn with the putt to win the hole at five. Yes. Here's another man that loves match play golf, Thomas Bjorn, and uh, one up against Stuart Sink. Sink has a chance to uh, win the hole here at the short seventh. This is for uh, two for Sink against uh, Thomas Bjorn. <laughs> and that uh, Thomas Bjorn gets the half and uh, remains one up. Thomas Bjorn uh, to win the hole at uh, the eighth. Well, that's two up now for Bjorn on sink. They have the first four. Bjorn won at the fifth, and now he's won the eighth to go two up on the, the American. Stuart Sink, two down, putting to win the hole. We'll move a little bit from his right. Oh, boy. Ooh, there's no justice in this game at all. How many putts have we seen go around the hole like that today? No wonder he gives it a right ironic smile, uh, Stuart Sink, but uh, after ten, the Dane Thomas Bjorn, two up. Stuart Sink getting one back against Thomas Bjorn. So Bjorn now the day and only one up. Sink one down. It's too tight to call who's going to win the cup. We knew this was going to be a tight match. Stuart Sink's fourth there, so he's in a bit of trouble against uh, Thomas uh, Bjorn. Thomas Bjorn just lost the 14th of par three to birdie two, and has he got the opportunity of making a four here, possibly in sneaking that hole back? Thomas Bjorn. Fiddle. And I think uh, Thomas Bjorn may well have that to win the hole. Interesting if he got to the situation he was in in two. It must have been some second shot if it was so. But it's Maybe. conceded, is it? No, it's not. Maybe not. Uh, that, in fact, was his fourth. I wondered if it might have been his third, but uh, with the wind uh, picking up this afternoon, Dennis, you were absolutely right. Yeah, and the wind's across them too, so it's very difficult to get a second shot to finish there. He's lying handy for five, Bjorn, and uh, Sink has... Uh, a putt that is certainly not dead for five. Bjorn leads the, in this one by one hole, and all those points so vital to the Europeans. This is when the pressure really begins to tell. And one of the occasions that uh, the Europeans uh, won the cup, of course, they won the singles here at the Belfry. Normally, the Americans take the singles. This. Oh. Missing his putt for a par, and while you're mentioning all that, those of us, why it is one of the greatest sporting spectacles in the world. So many people watch it throughout the world. Thomas Bjorn for the win on 15. 
ticklish little putt down the slope. No mistake for the man they nicknamed Major Tom. Well, it's been runner up to Tiger Woods in uh, Majors uh, has uh, Thomas Bjorn, and he's two up with three to play. Europe needing three more points to win the cup, and uh, well, we've got uh, Bjorn, or Europe have got Bjorn ahead, they've got uh, Fast ahead, and they've got Price ahead, uh, but uh, there's a lot of golf to be played yet, and uh, this is Sink for a win against uh, Thomas Bjorn at 16. Now we know how difficult this putt is down the hill, don't we, Brian? Right to left, huh? So he hit it left. He's going to make his four, but uh, I can tell you Thomas Bjorn has already played three and isn't dead for four, so uh, there's a putt coming. There's another chance for the Americans to win this hole. Thomas Bjorn for a half at 16. And, uh, well, I think it's expecting a lot for him to hold this under pressure, but uh, let's see. Oh, pace beat it. Pace beat it. One up. Two to play on Stuart Sink. Another important point. This is a point that uh, if Europe are going to win, they must take. Thomas Brown looks reasonably relaxed. 17th, huge match here. Stuart Sink driving across the elbow of the dog leg and not able to keep it on the fairway. But they've been reaching uh, from this left-hand rough. Second shot down Breeze. The match is uh, all the games played in wonderful spirit here this week. Uh, the Ryder Cup is back to what it should be. Oh, lovely to see, but there's some nervous smiles from the <laughs> players now. <laughs> it's a very difficult situation, it really is. The nerves must be jangling right up on the surface. Bjorn needs to try and fade it off that left-hand bunker if he can. Get it on that fairway. Gets it on the fairway, he can make the green. Come on. Ooh, that has disappeared. So there's no ways now that he can even consider, I think, getting it over the, the ditch ahead of him. You can see, though, Renton looking down on the 17th fairway there, how narrow it is. That's why the players have been finding it so difficult to hold on to the fairway there as they go across the uh, elbow of the dog leg. Oof, that ball has nestled down, it looks like, for Stuart Sink, and he's maybe have the decision as to whether he'd actually get enough club to get it over the ditch. We've seen one or two further up, knocking on the green from the left-hand rough, but if you are unlucky, the ball sits down. Nothing much you can do but advance it uh, 150 yards or so up the fairway. He'd probably be better off at this point in time, Warren, if he had a lie that wasn't giving him the opportunity of getting over the ditch. If he takes the wrong club and knocks it in, of course, uh, it makes it so much easier for Thomas. Playing short. Not only that sitting down, it was must have been almost buried by the way he played that. He's chunked that a little bit. That's left him a, a longer shot than I think he wanted. How far to go from there, eh, Warren? Well, he's still got a reasonable lie. Thomas Bjorn looks to have uh, done something similar, just played it out as well. There's Thomas Bjorn. Uh, Ian Wisdom, the vice captain, uh, is uh, with him there. And there's uh, Thomas uh, Bjorn's ball in the bunker, having uh, chucked it out of the left rough. It's 
Stuart Seep, third shot from short of the ditch. 33 on and centre. Still swinging the club nicely. Oh. But now he's knocked it over the back of the green. It's a swirly wind is causing a little bit of aggravation. I think part of the reason is because it dies every now and again. And every now and again, the gust gets up, and the ball goes a little further than he anticipated. Plus, of course, the adrenaline situation. Such a hard shot, this Renton, to pick this clean and knock it the right distance. Trying to go for the back flag, wedge in his hand, has to hit this perfectly. Couldn't get it up on the level on which the pin is cut. <laughs> Tense moments, say, uh, for both captains and for both players in this particular match, despite the fact that uh, Thomas Bjorn is smiling. I would suggest that Thomas is probably favourite here. He's at least putting. It might be at the, the bottom ridge he's got to come over, but at least he's on the green. I don't know what sort of lie Stuart Sink has got, but being over the back of the green and chipping, if it's a little on the fluffy side, it won't be the easiest thing to do because the pin is fairly close to the back, so he hasn't got much green to work with. Keep in mind that at this stage, the Americans need four and a half points to draw the match and retain the cup. They need six points and they've got one and a half of them. A little bit from his left. Come on, baby. Come on. Good cut. A three foot twitcher left for it. Well, when you're playing in your first Ryder Cup singles and it comes right down to the wire like this, very nervy times for anyone, but a really tough moment now for Stuart Sink. Nearly got into a playoff for the US Open, but it didn't happen for him, so he knows all about pressure, but this. Now a very awkward shot. A lot of green to, uh, a lot of fringe to carry over before it hits the putting surface. And that was not one of his best efforts. And it was a sign of tension. The third shot into the green was not his best. And masking a fluttery stomach. Well, balls on the green as they lie both have played four these are the occasions when the americans hole and the europeans miss but if uh, stuart sink misses this thomas bjorn will have a putt to win the match well that makes it uh, a lot easier for Thomas Bjorn. The six for Stuart Sink on the 17th. And Thomas Bjorn will have a putt to win his match. This for another point for the Europeans. Thomas Bjorn has uh, won that particular match by two and one. And that's another point for the Europeans as they try to wrest the cup back from the Americans who won at Brookline three years ago. It was a tense encounter, that one. But it's another point 
And uh, with that two and one success, Europe need only two more points. What a moment for Thomas Bjorn. And really, for the moment, things are going pretty well for uh, <laughs> Sam Torrance and his men. Not an easy putt, that under pressure. But Thomas Bjorn has won the point. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.